everybody, it's Keith with the L1 Automotive Training Channel, and today we've got um, a set of modules sent out. It says, I have a 2017 Mitsubishi Mirage. I need to see if you're able to clone the BCM, aka the ETACS, as Mitsubishi calls it. Backstory, the car was hit in the front left where, it was, where the fuse box lives, partially crushed, the fuse box, body work was done, then it came to me. I replaced the fuse box, since hardly anything worked, you could wiggle the... Wiggle the... I don't know, it got cut off, it was an email. Wiggled the something, strange things would happen. I then had no communication to any module. CAN network was wonky, found the BCM, ETEX, was the culprit. It was burnt internally. They were back ordered from the dealer, found installed a use, rewrote the VIN successfully, but it's not happy about it. It's giving codes P0513, incorrect immobilizer key, and P1766, already learned by another vehicle, so must be a one-time write. With the OG ECM, I was getting DTC P0606 ECM main processor malfunction. After going through the diagnosis of that code, it came down to the ECM. Also replaced it with another used unit as those are also on back order. Uh, wrote the Vendit also, not sure if it needs further attention or not. So I'll go ahead and just clone the data over. Uh, the, the customer had a locksmith come out, program a new key, which made no difference. He tried to clone the BCM with no luck. Let me know if you think there's anything to do with it or need further information. And then something about uh, he's watched some Eric O videos. So sweet. Appreciate uh, you finding me. Appreciate Eric O for leading you to us. So, all right. So we have um, the original ETAX module and the donor ETAX module. I've pulled them open. Um, let's get these under some, some video attention here. Um, first, you can probably see a slight discoloration there. Uh, let's see if you can... I don't know if it'll focus. I've got the focus on this camera for down here. So slight discoloration, no discoloration. Uh, let's take a look. I got the PCMs here. We'll put those over to the side. They're clearly labeled. These were clearly labeled OG and used. Please, if you're going to send anything, you must clearly label them. Don't forget, if you want to send something, go to l1diagnostics.com. On the website there, we have a form to fill out under Request Module Cloning or Repair Services. And you can fill that out, and I'll get in touch with you, and we'll see if we can help you. So, here are the modules. Let's take a look. Um, let's get the microscope turned on. That looks bright on your end. Let me get her switched over. Hold on one second here. Oops, she's still booting up. All right. Looks like the colors change. Let's go to auto. There we go. She's a little nasty. Let me see if I can get a. Yeah, that's um, that's the part of the board that's physically damaged on this side. Let me get it pulled out. And uh, so you can probably see a bit of discoloration uh, there. And if I pull the donor, no discoloration. So let's take a look. This is what this area should kind of look like. Right here is a CAN transceiver. That's where the CAN bus uh, comes out of this module. I will show you the same location on the original. CAN transceiver and blown up part there. So. There's something missing here. If we look just to the right of that, and then here we look just in the same location, there is, looks like, could be a current limiting resistor, the green one there, and then that's a capacitor. Um, what else is missing off the board here? Just kind of looking, oh, I think I see the culprit. All right. So right here, the most damaged portion of the board, we can see that that's probably, yeah, I think that is this MOSFET right here for something, some kind of power control out. Um, could be a bipolar transistor or a MOSFET or transistor of some sort. Um, anyways, not too terrible. Hold up, is this getting kind of confusing? 
Well, if it is, you guys can head over to l1training.com and I have hundreds of hours of advanced level training. We cover diagnosis, module programming, EEPROM, immobilizer, keys, board repairs, all of the great stuff you guys have questions about at l1training.com. Most of these classes are done live, so we have these Q&As where we can ask, you guys can ask questions, and I answer them right there. Head on over to l1training.com and sign up, and we'll see you guys there. I'm probably concerned because we know what's going on with this. So, um, looking at this board, to give you an idea of what I see that I think is important. Um, so this is the MCU. Now, not only is that going to be on the board, it's also going to be too hot to touch. So we'll go ahead and pick that up. We've picked it up. We're going to move it back onto the board here. Take this bad mamma jamma. No, we actually don't even need that on there. What am I doing? All right. So we got her on the board, so we're going to go back. We'll try read again. Hey, look at that. It read. All right, so either this one isn't able to be read in circuit, or there was something about the uh, my, my pen clip that's bad, which is possible. The last couple's haven't read, so maybe it's damaged. All right, so we're going to click back to go back. So this is the actual file that's in that EEPROM. We've read that. We're going to go to load. Browse. We're going to open up our OG Flash. Okay, and you see that this has got the correct VIN everywhere. We're going to go ahead and program this to this EEPROM. Back. Read. Read this EEPROM. Confirm all the VINs are correct, which this should also house all the immobilizer data um, since this is the ETEX. And so that should resolve the customer's issue for the um, for the concern with the key codes that uh, stated because it stated that there is a 513 incorrect immobilizer key and 1766 already learned by another vehicle. So that should resolve that. So we're going to put that. EEPROM back on the board in the correct orientation so we get the board lined up. Um, this is the location right here. These are the pads for it. Let's... What's funny is one of these days I'm going to put a chip back on the board and I'm going to put it on like upside down and you guys are going to notice it and I am going to have no clue for like an hour and uh, when that happens I promise you I will leave that in um, so we can all have a good time with that because uh, I would like to see it so so here we are back on let's roll that out the way um, so this board is is done so this this donor actually has all the transferred data so we're gonna take the good used housing and put it all back on here And then this, make sure I put this on the right way. It, it does not appear to be directional, actually. It probably had a way that it went together. But looking at it, both sides look identical. All right, so good used, done, OG smoked clap it back together those are those are ready for transfer now the engine control module 